Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I get a review that should really click with you. This is the tactile turn side click pen right here. Um, and first off, though, in the name of full disclosure, I want to thank Tactile Turn for sending these guys along. Um, they reached out to me and said, hey, Nick, we got something cool. We're excited about it. You want to see it? And the answer is generally yes. Yes, I do. Um, and so they sent it along. Nonetheless, we do have to assume, I, I, I sent them my full disclaimer on my website. We do have to assume that they sent the very best quality controlled side click pens ever. Um, and I'm doing my best not to let that affect the nature and quality of my review. But nonetheless, that's, that's what's going on here. These guys were provided by the manufacturer. Full disclosure. Next thing, let's do a little bit of size comparison. Um, first off, here they are again, sort of some conventional size comparison pens. Uh, here it is against the Parker Jada. And by the way, there are three different sizes. This is the um, short version. This is the mini version. And there is a standard version as well, which is a little bit bigger. But here it is against the Parker Jada, your standard Bic click stick pen here. Uh, here it is against the Machine Era Classic pen. It's in my pocket a lot of the days. And uh, then here it is against the um, tactile turn, bolt action pens, uh, both full, uh, the, the the short and the mini again, because th those are my preferred sizes, generally speaking. And so you can see that actually the, uh, the, the side click pens, at least with the pen uh, not deployed, are roughly the, uh, there's a little bit of extra prominence at the top there for the clicker. Aside from that, they, they are the same generalized size. And I'll go ahead and I'll throw a ruler down here just so you can get a sense of what we're looking at here. And uh, we see here that these are about a centimeter around. Yeah, about a centimeter exactly. Um, about exactly. That's the level of precision you've come to expect from the Nick Shabazz channel. So anyways, um, there you go. Next thing, um, just one quick note. Um, Tactile Turn has made a bunch of pens in before, but this is a brand new mechanism. Their side click mechanism. Uh, basically, to deploy the pen, you press this button in, and to release the pen, you press this side button, and it clicks, hence side click pen. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the good, the great, the bad, the ugly of this very interesting little set of pens right here. So on the good side, to start with, these are made in the US of A. Of course, uh, you know, quality is about effort, not geography, but I'm always cheering for my home team, right? And I'm sure you are for your country as well. Um, and so it's nice to see something being made here in the States. I'm a big fan of that. Next thing, there are a bunch of different options that we've got here. Um, there are three of the, uh, the, the material options, that is. Um, in terms of material options, there are four different options, three of which which are at $99, and that's the titanium, like this guy right here. This is titanium. There is a copper version, like this guy right here, which, as you can probably tell, is copper. Um, there is a bronze option, also $99. And then, finally, you can go to a zirconium, where the entire thing is a, a black flame zirconium finish. Um, it, it, very nice, but $249, because zirconium, I gather, is not so much fun to machine. So um, you can get the, the, the titanium, the bronze, and the copper for $99, or the zirk for $249. And you can actually also get a titanium, Titanium Damascus style clip. Um, I don't have a uh, Damascus clip. Well, I'm sorry, Titanium Damascus. Damascus, of course, being a uh, trademark term from one particular shop. But uh, it is two grades of titanium folded together. It looks a little bit like this uh, here. Or, for instance, uh, Damascus. Come here. This is on a uh, pocket knife, of course. This is the Brian Nadeau um, Knife Nuts Podcast Edition Void. But anyways, um, you can see here, Titanium Damascus uh, is a beautiful material, and uh, they are willing to make clips out of that as well uh, for an additional $99. So um, you got a bunch of different options just in terms of materials uh, that make the pen up. Um, there is, uh, and by the way, that is actually a nice thing right now, um, here in July of 2020, um, because copper is actually kind of having a moment, right? Uh, recent studies suggest well, actually, a long-term pattern of studies suggest that many viruses, including the one that we've been talking about lately, um, has a reduced half-life on both copper and bronze. I'm not entirely sure the, the, the physiological, well, I don't know if it's physiology at that level. Either way, the, 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 the reason that that happens, um, but it has been relatively strongly confirmed. Um, mind you, it's not the case that you can't have any on there. It just, it takes a little bit, uh, it dies a little bit more quickly on copper and bronze. So for many people, actually, copper has a, a mild safety advantage at the moment, which is something that's nice to consider. So it's good that they've got a copper option out there for you. Um, next thing, of course, you know, talk to your doctor, read the papers yourself, etc. But it, it, nonetheless, that's a thing. Next thing, um, there were actually three different sizes for this guy. There is the standard size, which I don't have on the table, which takes a uh, Pilot G2. Oh, I guess I should throw this down next to a Pilot G2 pen. It's another good point of comparison. Um, but anyways, uh, there is a standard size one that takes a Pilot G2 refill. Um, there is the short version here, which takes a Parker compatible refill here. See if I can pop this open real quick. 
It's a little bit of a pain in the neck to pop open on occasion, so I generally will use a rubber band, which is around here someplace, I swear to you. Here we go, rubber band. Nice to see you. Um, because, actually, the fact is you can't see where the barrel breaks away. Um, on this guy, generally speaking... Am I being dumb? Oh, that's right, because you can pop the refill out through the top here. So I'll do that instead. That works. I just press the side click all the way in, pull this out, and out comes my refill, as well as my spring. You might be able to get in there still, but you don't need to. Um, either way, I this is a um, Parker-compatible refill. They ship it with a Schmidt Easy Flow cartridge, which is fine. Um, but nonetheless, uh, so there's that. And then on the inside here of this guy, you have the... Oh, yeah, this one opened up, no problem. Uh, you have a Pilot G2 Mini uh, refill. Those were a little bit harder to get, but nonetheless, you, you can definitely... You can always buy the G2 pen, uh, G2 Mini pen, right, and take the refill out of there. But um, they, they may have better approaches. I kind of hope they've got better approaches. And actually, we're going to take... This this is just a moment since I did that already to explain how this mechanism works. Um, basically, this mechanism is cool in that it is just a couple of parts, right? There is a spring that goes around the refill here that provides the, the, the click tension. There is the refill itself. There is this little piece here, which goes, well, into here, right? And then there is this little spring unit here. This little spring unit has the external button that you want to press as well as, and by the way, it is kind of a cool little piece of machining right here has a little button, but it also has a spring built into it. And so the way that you put this guy back together is you just slide this little button into here, and then you get everything properly aligned, press the uh, bottom part of this back into position here, and then, whoop, uh, nope, I got it. Get everything aligned up, and then press it down and in, and then everything's working again. So it's prevented from coming out by uh, by the virtue of this, the top of this little cube guy, um, but nonetheless, you have a nice bit of satisfying spring required to do that, so that's how this is taken apart. But anyways, you've got three different sizes of refill, and by the way, those are good refill choices, right? Uh, with a G2 compatible pen, you can do, well, a Pilot G2 pen refill, which is actually a great refill in and of itself, but you can also hack it to use a Mont Blanc refill. Um, you just cut off the end of a Mont Blanc refill, and it works just great in a G2 thing. Got a whole video on that. Um, for the, the short size, you know, pocket compatible refills are Everywhere. There are a dime a dozen. You can get some great ones. So yeah, chances are like Space Pen can work there too. And then for the mini size, the Pilot G2 Mini is a, a very nice refill because it writes like a G2, but it's just mini, right? Um, and so you got a bunch of good options here. So I appreciate very much those refill sizes and as well as the uh, choice of size and they're all the same price. So there's that. Next thing, um, the tactile turn texture on this remains pretty excellent. Um, the tactile turn texture is something that is better felt than seen. I mean, you can definitely see it. And in fact, if I kind of zoom in, what you see here is that there is not actually, although it looks very possible that this is just optical, it's not. In fact, there is a very, very light scratch running all the way down this thing in a sort of, it almost feels helical, I assume it is. But anyways, um, and it looks great, um, and it also feels great. You get all kinds of traction on this guy, but without being like pocket eating or anything like that. I like the tactile turn texture a lot, and it's sort of their hallmark, and it's something that you don't appreciate looking at a video, but then you pick it up, you're like, oh, that's cool. Um, and so I like that very much. Next thing, this is a clicky pen, right? Click, 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 click. Thing is, though, you can do this entirely silently. Watch. So it's not the case that you need to click, 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 click in the middle of a meeting. If you just need to deploy your pen silently, you're in a conference room in a presentation, you don't want to be rude, it's easy enough to do that, and it's it's pretty straightforward. So I like that very much. Um, and then finally, on the good side, these remain a very classy-looking pen, particularly the Thai version here just looks great. Um, the tactile turn texture is amazing, uh, and it just, it, it looks pretty damn solid. So I appreciate that very, very much. Um, and to me, all of that is the good here, is that the, uh, the it remains pretty classy looking. It can be triggered uh, silently. The tactile turn texture is pretty great. It's got three different sizes, featuring three very standard, very good refills. Um, the copper is definitely having a moment with regards to its um, bioactivity, so to speak, and there are lots of different options, with titanium, copper, bronze, and zirconium, as well as the option for a titanium damascus is clip, and they're made in the U.S. of the A. On the great side to me is actually that mechanism I was just showing you. The mechanism is great. It's very simple. Um, at some level, when I popped this guy out, when I first took it apart, it was just like, oh, well, that's way easier than I expected it to be. 
need some kind of an external tool, but I imagine a pen would work. Uh, just not the same pen. Uh, actually, it could be the same pen if you take the refill. I re wouldn't recommend that. But nonetheless, um, you know, look, a lot of your click mechanisms that you see out in the world these days are very, uh, they, they're usually made by one or two factories. They don't tend to be amazing. Honestly, the, the number of everyday carry click pens sold by random companies uh, with great click mechanisms is very, very low. It tends to be one or two mechanisms which have unfortunate reliability. You know, they have ten, uh, tendencies to miss clicks and things like that. I've just never been impressed with click actions out of, uh, out of everyday carry pens generally. I think this is the part of the reason that the bolt action trend took so well off because it's a very simple mechanism and it's a very easy one to make. This one, I don't know if it's easy to make, but it's certainly quite simple. There's really just that one spring in there. Everything else is solid chunks of metal, right? And it's got, it's just a very nice feeling to it. It has a very nice uh, press in, a very satisfying release. It is super fidget friendly. Oh my God, is this thing fidgety. You just repeat this and repeat this and repeat this and repeat this until your wife and co-workers leave the room, assuming your wife's in the same room with your co-workers. Nonetheless, it's kind of a different uh, thing, right? Oh, or your husband, I don't care. Either way, it's going to be a problem uh, for you because you're going to want to fidget with it all the damn time, but that is kind of a nice thing. And the fact that it is all metal, the fact that it is robust and reliable, and there's not really a way for it to fail particularly, um, that, that, that that's great. And disassembly is very easy. I Like I said, uh, this is the, probably one of the most impressive, well, it is one of the most impressive uh, click mechanisms I've seen on a pen on this channel, period, and it may be the most impressive. It's it's quite, quite good. Um, and so, to me, what's great here is the mechanism. It's a simple idea, but by God, is it done well. On the bad side, um, 99 bucks is the price for either of these guys. You can go up to 249 with the Zerk and add a little bit more. That's a fair chunk of change. Thing is, though, it's made in the US of A, which is going to add some cost there. They are uniquely machined. You're not getting this tactile turn pattern anywhere else, and it is profoundly well done with solid materials, etc. I, I don't really feel like I'm getting taken for a ride there particularly, but it is going to be pricey. It's going to be something you save up for. And so th th that's definitely a factor. Next thing, um, the pen is rather tall above the clip. If you put this guy in your pocket, you are going to, because your, your pocket material only comes up to here, you're going to have at least this much sticking out the top of your pocket there. And particularly, uh, that is assuming the pen is, if the pen's deployed, it can go in a little deeper there. But nonetheless, um, you have yourself a, a relatively tall thing. And so if you've got pockets with a fold over flap or something like that, this is definitely going to stick up there some. Is it the end of the world? No, not particularly, but it is definitely a little bit tall above the clip, and that could be a concern, especially relative to some of the tactile turns other options, where this guy is only a little tiny bit tall above the clip, but because of the way the clip has been done here, it's definitely tall up above there. So keep that in mind. Um, next thing, the um, hardware on it isn't particularly matchy-matchy. What I mean by that is that you've got this beautiful tactile turn texture, and then you've got a solid chunk of titanium. Not quite as impressive, and it could be that the tactile turn texture would wear away doing the, the clicking thing. Yeah, they may have good reasons for it, but honestly, um, the fact that the clip, the, the button here, and this top part don't really match the rest of the pen, I don't particularly love. And I mean, especially given that on some of their other pens, the, the clip definitely feels a little bit more matching. Um, I feel like that does add something to it, that the level of polish here is just fundamentally different. It's it's a little bit better on the copper, where you don't really, there's not that contrast of what appears to be a darker stone wash over here, as opposed to here, it's just, you know, copper straight through, but still there. The clip is a different metal than the, uh, and as is the spring, and of course, that makes some sense, right? Copper would be a very bad material for clips and frankly for springs, but still, I, I kind of wish that they'd done, you know, something that maybe, you know, like a bronzy anno or something, the anodization that is of the titanium might make it a little bit easier. Then finally, that brings us to the clip itself, and the clip is probably the thing I like least about this pen. Um, Tactile Third has historically done some very nice clips. They tend to be these kind of bent versions like this, Um, and they're, 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 they're fine, Uh, but the problem is, you know, and they match the style of it a little bit more. They feel a little bit fancy or a little bit classier. These clips are, they're okay. They work, in fact, they work fine. They were a little tappy. They, they stand it up above there, but they, they work just great. The problem is they don't look quite as great to me. Um, and especially with the copper one, it feels like, oh, well, we had a clip laying around, so there you go. Uh, threw it on there. And so I'm not a big fan of the clip here, especially relative to the very attractive clips that Tactile Third puts on some of their other pieces. I'd kind of like to see if they they, they could get their, uh, their, their their conventional clip in there. Mind you, I, I get it. This has a fundamentally different top than this does. It might be very difficult to get that in there, but I do feel like the clip here is a little bit of a step down. So to me, at least, that's what's bad, is that the clip doesn't feel like it 
it matches the aesthetics of the overall pen, nor frankly tactile turns overall slightly fancier aesthetic. Um, the side click button and the top don't match as well. Um, it's quite tall above the clip and the price is definitely up there. Uh, nothing ugly here, so we'll go to the final conclusion, which is that this is a great pen. Honestly, it's US made, lots of options, lots of texture, the possibility to run uh, clicky or silent, it's got good refill choices, a feeling of a little bit of class with it, and it is definitely one of the nicer click mechanisms out there, if not the nicest currently, you know, in the, the higher end EDC world, right? Um, yeah, the price on it absolutely is not cheap, it's quite tall above the clip, it, it, there's a little bit of lack of matching here, and the clip doesn't quite feel tactile turn, um, but nonetheless, this is a very nice little choice. It's, pl uh, it's pretty, it's clicky, it's reliable. It's very high in quality, and honestly, I think all of those things together are enough for this to earn gem status, right? Um, I, I like bolt action pens a lot, and th this latest version, the tactile turn bolt action, is great. This is a, a clicky pen that's just as good as their bolt actions. This is a clicky pen that feels up to their standards, and it, the tactile turn is one of those companies where it's just like, yeah, I'm interested. At this point in time, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, sure, whatever you come up with, uh, I'd love to check it out, because I know that they're doing good work, and I know that they give a damn right my interactions with their founder he seems to give a damn my they, they, all the products like they they seem to give a damn and they seem to be constantly upgrading constantly pushing themselves forward so this is a great little choice and i think if you're looking for a classy reliable pen with an intuitive and fun mechanism then this little guy might absolutely click with you okay anyways there you go hope this has been interesting to you and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day bye now